All right, so we've been able to finally pour this project. It's been a shortage of concrete, or should I say, Portland cement, which caused a two week delay on this pour. I hope everyone is doing well and staying positive. Hopefully, you caught the last video where we filmed this pour with our drone. If not, check out the link below. And while you're down there, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any more videos. Greatly appreciate it. So we started this pour with the walkway, which is about 70 feet long. Next to the walkway will be about 750 square feet of artificial turf. And we got a lot of guys in this little area. But trust me, we're trying to beat the sun. Here we got our ball float out while the team works his way out to the big patio. Here's a quick shot of the walkway with the artificial turf. Stay tuned to the end where you can see more and you won't be disappointed. So the last video, we got a couple questions regarding the grading how did we set it up so we can have proper drainage so we won't have any water puddling? So stay tuned to the end and I'll give an explanation of that. And you'll get a chance to see how the water runs off nice and smooth. So we probably got every concrete finishing tool out there. Our edger to make sure our edges are nice and clean. We got a torpedo to cut open our joints. Once those are cut open, we use our groover to make our joints look nice and pretty. We got a guy way in the back, right hand side, working at Fresno. It definitely takes teamwork to make all this happen. We got our last 10 yards in to help us close out next to the house. It was time to break out the hand trials to make sure we get the concrete ready for a nice broom finish. And I got a couple comments from our last video. The boys the guys are kneeling on are called knee boards. But I personally call them sliders. Ended up doing a light broom finish here with the exception of a small section of about 240 square feet. We ended up stamping this part using our texture stamp. I have a video up in the next couple days of us stamping the concrete as well as us installing the artificial turf. So be sure to subscribe to our channel. So the rule of thumb when grading for concrete is a 2% slope, but in order to make this patio functional for the family, we went about 1% to about 1.2%. So here if you look from right to left, there's a slight v -ditch. you can barely notice it. And that was what we were trying to accomplish. So again, we go about 1 to 1.2% from the house, and that goes out about 20 feet and then from the grass area, it comes back down about another 25 feet. It kind of meets there. 
and that creates the slight V ditch, which takes the water out, as you can see here. And some people might have put a channel drain in here or added some drainage, but to me personally, that would have looked ugly. So at all costs, we try to avoid putting channel drains or drainage outlets in our concrete. You can say that's where years of experience come in. So as always, I appreciate you guys' time. Remember, stay positive, and it's cool to ask for help. If you're in the Bay Area, Sacramento, hit us up. Link is in the description below for a free estimate. And also check out the playlist to this project. It's going to be about five to seven videos once we finish. Enjoy your day. Make it a good one.